Hey there, YouTube. <clears throat> hey there, YouTube fam. It's Sean again, aka That Nerd Kid Ugly. Enjoying a warmer fall morning here in northern Pennsylvania. Today I got my Trials Town Cobbler Cobb Cornell and Deal and Missouri Mearstrom team up because honestly it's it's just for this. I, I did it just for the stem. Um I know it's not a Halloween pipe, but it's very Halloween-y to me. I love the the red acrylic with the black swirls in it. And in it this morning, I have Sutliff's Pumpkin Spice. It has Burley's, Virginia's, and I believe it's Black Cavendish in it. The room note, or the, I should say the bag note on this, and I don't know if it's because it's in the bag or not, but it's very Halloween-y smelling to me. Um, you get that pumpkin spice in there, and I think it's the plastic of the bag, but it smells like a Halloween mask to me, like an old school Halloween, you know that smell. Like if you've ever had an old school mask on, we all know that smell. Um, slight pumpkin, there's not a whole lot of pumpkin to the smell, I mean... I've also had this for a couple weeks now. I haven't put it in a jar or anything, so I think some of it's starting to wear off. When I first got it, there was a, a, more of a pumpkin smell to it. Um, I don't know why I closed that up. I should have showed you guys what it looked like. You know, your usual... I don't know how well you could see that in there, but your usual ribbon cut, you know with a decent amount of topping on there. It is pretty wet, so it's gonna need some dry time if, when you smoke it. Um, you know, a good five, 10 minutes. You don't have to go too long with it. It's not super duper wet like a lot of them can be. I have smoked a few bowls of this and it's not a bad blend really. Um, if you're a fan of pumpkin spice, it, you'll enjoy it. It's not crazy with the pumpkin spice. You get, you could just get a little bit on the mouthfeel. Um, it's not, you don't really get a whole much of a, a taste, but when you do the retro hail, you get a lot of that <clears throat> pumpkin, your cinnamon, your allspice. And the room note is pretty fantastic on it. If if you're if you love that smell, you love that fall pumpkin. You know, it just gets you in the mood for the cold. You know, the burr months as they call it. It's not bad. Um, I have been also smoking Sleepy Hollow. I do have that, and I might. I, I probably won't, but. I thought about doing a revisit on that one. I, I because my first video I did wasn't the greatest. Um, I think I was having issues with my nose and everything at the time. I wasn't able to get the full flavor out of it. But since I've smoked a few bowls of it, and it tastes so much better to me now, it's it's got that creaminess to it. This doesn't have that. If you're looking for a truly good creamy, you know, a decent amount of pumpkin spice, delicious blend. Sleepy Hollow is where you want to go. Like I said, this has a little bit of the pumpkin to it. It's not a crazy taste to it. It's, it's just enough to coat your mouth and get a little bit of that taste to it. The Retro Hill, you will get some more. But I think what helps with Sleepy Hollow is that it's got that vanilla in there too. So it's got that creamy vanilla mixed with the pumpkin. It just makes a really good blend. No, I'm not saying this is a horrible blend. It's not. It's, it's a decent blend. 
Um, I only picked up one out. That's probably all I'm going to do. Am I going to get it next year? Probably not. Uh, it's probably the only time I get this blend. I'll instead just wait and do Sleepy Hollow from now on. Instead of the pumpkin spice. It's not bad for the price. It's pretty decent. Um, I do have a couple more that I, I, I need to try to get reviewed and out for the fall time. Um, the last one in the Appalachian Trail series I actually wanted to say because I feel like that is a decent fall Halloween blend. And that is the stove pipe. So I'm, I'm going to try to get that out. Well, yeah, as for the pumpkin spice, you know, uh, I don't really rate these. But it's a decent blend. If you're interested in it, pick it up, try it, pick up one ounce. Don't got to go crazy with it. It's not going to be, maybe some it might be a staple blend. Nah, it was a good try. I want to finish out the ounce. You know, finish smoking it for fall time. But thank you for watching. Just a quick little review. And until next time, folks, happy smokes.